Okay y'all, so we had a really rough few days. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Okay guys, so if you see me looking to my left, that's because I'm looking at my notes. <clears throat> so according to Baby Center, baby is about the size of a lentil, about a quarter of an inch long. The nose, mouth, and ears are beginning to take shape. The heart is beating about 100 to 160 times a minute. The blood is beginning to course through his body. The intestines are developing and the buds of tissue that will give rise to his lungs has appeared. His pituitary gland is forming as are the rest of his brain, muscle, and bone. So if you guys are following us on Instagram, you would know that I was in the hospital because I was cramping. I snapped a picture or whatever and if you guys are not following our Instagram, I will leave it here. So this is our Instagram. Make sure you guys follow us to keep up with, you know, our updates and everything. And um, it'll also be in the description box below with our um, Facebook and our Twitter. Hey guys, so I am in the hospital because I've been having some cramps. And um, the doctor, they just took my urine or whatever. And so I'm waiting on them to come do a pelvic exam and all of that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Okay guys, so I'm thinking that the reason why I was cramping was because number one, I believe that I had a virus, <clears throat> the 24 hour bug or something like that because I had ate some taco, I had some taco salad and I don't think that the meat was any good or something like that because literally that same exact night that I went back home, I was throwing up like literally all night long you guys and um i've had that happen actually me and israel has had that happen to us before where our stomach was cramping like really really bad after we ate i think a bad hoagie well that's what we call our um sub sandwiches and stuff we had some uh hoagies and i think the um green peppers we had were old or something and our stomach was toe up y'all and we were just throwing up and that's what i was doing that particular night and um, when I went to the hospital, they basically said everything looked normal. They found the baby's heartbeat. I was so mad, you guys, because number one, the tech told me that I could not see anything. She said that I couldn't hear anything. And I was kind of upset because I'm like, you know, I'm cramping. So I'm thinking that, you know, it was like something towards miscarrying or something like that. So back to the story though so i'm like um i was getting so upset because she's like yeah you can't see or hear anything i can't tell you anything um you just have to wait for the doctor to tell you so i was getting really upset but luckily I, she pressed the heart and it was loud like 
I guess she had the monitor on or whatever. And when she pressed the heartbeat, I did hear it for about five seconds and then she turned it off. So I was like super excited that I got a chance to hear the heartbeat. Even for that little five few seconds, I was still, you know, happy because I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm thinking the worst. Because I'm like, I'm cramping. I'm only, you know, five weeks and a few days. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, what if... I'm just sitting there like, oh my goodness, what if, you know, I'm having an early miscarriage or, you know, I'm just thinking the worst, y'all. So to hear my baby's heartbeat, that just really made my heart feel so much better. Um, everything looked normal. My blood was normal and, you know, stuff like that. And they discharged me. But they did call it a um, threatened miscarriage because they say anytime a woman that's pregnant comes in for the first trimester and she's cramping or bleeding that they call it a threatened miscarriage but he said that um he probably think i will not have a miscarriage so i was so happy you know when i went home i drank some water i put my feet up and i wasn't doing anything and that's another reason i was also thinking that it might have been implantation bleeding but after i started throwing up that's when i just thought like okay maybe i just had the um 24 hour bug and I'm gonna get to that story in just a second with the bleeding and the crazy part about it was that before I started cramping I wasn't doing anything you guys like I was in the bed I had my feet up I was chilling watching TV or watching YouTube stuff on TV so I'm just like you know why am I cramping like I wasn't doing anything I wasn't overworking myself or anything so you know I was just like wow like what the heck is going on I never even once thought about that the meat could have been bad when I ate the taco salad So now on November 6th, I went right back to the hospital. This time because I was bleeding. And this is why I'm thinking I was bleeding. I want to say that it was implantation bleeding because I didn't like literally. It only came out a little bit. It was red and pink. And um, as soon as I got to the hospital, I wasn't cramping. I wasn't going through pads or anything. Like, I was perfectly fine. I wasn't cramping. I wasn't um, nothing, like anything. I, was, I just bled for like that one few seconds. So when I was at the hospital or whatever and sitting there waiting for them to, you know, diagnose me with, you know, if, if I was having a miscarriage or, you know, anything, the doctor came back. He gave me a pelvic exam, which you guys will, um, you guys will, uh, hear that in my, um, clip that I'm getting ready to show you guys now. Okay, so they're about to give me a pelvic exam. The one thing that I hate about this hospital is that they will not let your significant other come back when I'm giving you an exam or anything. It's like, you have to ask everybody if they come back here. So after he gave me the pelvic exam, guys, um, he looked, he said everything was okay. He said I wasn't bleeding. He didn't see any blood. And um, he still told me that my blood was fine because I had just been there on November 4th. So he was like, you know, we didn't have to do a, a cotton swab or anything like that because, you know, they already did that and your blood and everything came back normal. So he was like, you know, just take it easy for the next few days and, um, yeah, and then, you know, he was telling me, like, you know, I always have to tell people that, you know, it is a threatened miscarriage, you know, if they see blood. But um, he was like, you know, I don't think anything is going to be wrong because, you know, he told me that, um, he told me that he didn't see anything wrong when, you know, he did the pelvic exam. So that made me feel so much better. And like I said, the reason why I thought it was implantation bleeding is because I had that same exact thing happen to me when I was pregnant with Kaden. Um, I think I was about six weeks and a few days, and um, it was implantation bleeding. They thought it was an ectopic pregnancy or a tubal pregnancy. They went in, did the ultrasound, and um, she was like, oh, everything looks normal. It probably was just implantation bleeding. You're fine. Um, so I was just like, okay, good. But like I said, because I had been cramping, 
though that previous day i'm like oh my goodness let me just um go see what's really going on because at first when i first seen it that's the first thing that came to my head was maybe this is just implantation bleeding since i'm not cramping but then i was like you know what skip it because i was just cramping two days ago let me just go back because they did tell me if anything if any of my symptoms got worse to come back to the hospital and i was not taking no chances with that so i'm like let me go on going back to the hospital see what's going on so everything was fine and i'm just so happy guys like because i was literally thinking the worst i also want to thank all of you guys that are telling me to just stay off my feet take it easy thank you guys so much for showing me that you guys care you know that means a lot to me so i don't have any new symptoms i'm pretty still i'm still having the same symptoms which was fatigue heat flashes thirst sensitive smell frequent urination um and my breast still feel really heavy but cravings i have been craving um watermelon twizzlers um chocolate chip cookies and soup and i I can't remember what was the last thing I know it's on my notes popcorn and caramel apples um I have been eating healthy guys I've been eating salads lately um I just been I don't know I, oh and salads I've been craving salads a lot too because I've been eating those like consistently um yeah so I'm glad that I'm starting to eat more healthier I haven't had no fast foods like McDonald's none of the Coney Island none of that i haven't even went to subway you guys oh and that's another thing like i haven't been craving subs anymore i can't remember if i told you guys that in the last update but i have not been craving that chicken teriyaki sub so no more subway nothing but salads and um probably soups for the next few days because israel is going to be making his famous soup Y'all know, if you guys have been following our channel, y'all know Israel always making soup and he makes the best freaking soup from scratch. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to be going to Hustle Hospital because I was telling you guys we were leaning toward receiving hospital and we didn't know if we were going to go there or Hustle, but we are going to Hustle for our prenatal care. Um, I was telling you guys that I was probably going to be going to the doctor that I was seeing when I was pregnant with Kaden. Well, she doesn't take my insurance. So, I have to pick another doctor. Well, I have another doctor now. I'm going to the same place, though. It's the, she's not exactly at that location that I'm going to be going to. I told you guys, Hustle has four different locations. I'm going to be going to a whole nother location. My doctor name is Amanda. So, I'll be seeing her on November 29th. That's a Wednesday at 9.15 a.m. So, I'm excited to see, you know, what's going to happen and I'm glad that I won't have to go back to that other place, y'all, because it was just too much dot com going on, okay? Like, too much going on over in that place, and I was getting real upset. Um, like I said, it just seemed so unprofessional, and like I said, I'm glad that I don't have to go back there. So by the time I go to my first prenatal visit, I will be eight weeks, and I want to say six days, so almost nine weeks. Um, I haven't been cramping or bleeding, so... We don't have to worry about that anymore. Super happy. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be taking it easy for the next few days. I do have to go to work. I won't be doing too much because I'm a patient sitter. So all I have to do is really just watch the patient. I don't have to lift or anything like that. So I'm happy about that. So you guys don't have to be worried about me doing too much. Because <laughs> I won't be doing a lot of anything. Just watching the patient. And I did tell my... um. I told my uh, supervisor about everything, so she's aware of what's going on. I am going to be doing the baking soda gender test all the way up until 10 weeks. I think this is a baby girl. You guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think this baby is, but I honestly think that this is a baby girl. Um, and it's not just because I want a baby girl. It's because I truly feel like the symptoms that I'm going through, the moodiness. I forgot to tell you guys that I am still moody. And um, it's just a lot going on that doesn't, to me, feel like boy. And then remember when I was telling you guys that I had a dream that I actually had a baby girl. And I actually saw what she looked like. And that was not the first time that I dreamt about me having a baby girl. Um, remember when Israel was telling you guys that he had a dream that I was pregnant with a girl. Um, I think I've had a dream that I was pregnant with a girl and actually had a baby girl maybe about five times um throughout the throughout the course of three months so even before me and Israel were even trying to 
you know, have another child. I had already been having this dream and having feelings that, you know, once we actually did have another baby, that it would be a girl. Um, I don't know why, that's just my intuition. Um, I, I asked my mother what she thought I was going to have. She said she thought it was going to be another boy. So we're going to see. But like I said, we are going to be doing a gender reveal party, you know, once we do find out the gender and all of that good stuff. And like I said, I am going to be doing the baking soda um, gender test, you know, just for fun. And we are going to be doing the old wives tales too, guys. So comment down below. Let me know what old wives tales you guys would like to see. I'm going to show you guys my belly shot and my measurements. And that's going to be it for this six-week update. And I will see you guys in my seven-week update. Okay, guys. So here's my belly from the front. Here's my belly from the right side. Here's my belly from the left side. Okay, guys. So the last time I checked, I was 25 inches around. Still 25 inches. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.